A Charlotte woman says part of the reason her husband is still alive today is because of a new approach to doing CPR. After he had a heart attack, she used that new approach to keep him alive until Medic could get there and take over. Eyewitness News anchor Robin McGlon has their story. He rolled over on his back on the sofa, and I heard the sound. He was just lying there on his back. He was purple. Just two days into the new year, Alita Warzella was watching her husband of 15 years have a massive heart attack. At 61 years old, Tom was dying. I ran over here, and he was saying here, and I just grabbed him, and I said, Tom, Tom. I was just determined that he was not going anywhere. Good boy. That was a month ago. His doctors say it's a miracle Tom is still alive. He agrees. Come on, Holden. Well, I smoke, I drink, I ride a motorcycle. I eat whatever I want to eat. I was not listening to my body at, at all. For years, Tom ignored the signs. He was on medication for high blood pressure. He thought the pain in his chest was indigestion. And for two weeks prior, he ignored the pressure he felt from shoulder to shoulder. Like a pushing pressure. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of pain, just a lot of pressure. Like somebody was just pushing down on my chest. Tom doesn't remember, but Dr. Michael Rinaldi of the Sanger Heart Institute first met him in the ER. He was on the sicker side, um, presenting with sudden death and then cardiac shock. He credits several factors in Tom's survival. One in particular, the new CPR guidelines from the American Heart Association. As Alita talked with 911, she was told to skip mouth to mouth and instead do just compressions. And then she said, we're going to do CPR and you're going to do 600 compressions. And I said, let's go. At the time, sort of wasted breathing for the patient. That patient has no circulation during that time, so it's better just to push and push. The continuous compressions kept Tom's heart running until medic arrived. Looking back, he says he almost let his pride kill him. I was that, uh, under that frame of mind that it's not going to happen to me. I feel good. I'm strong. I work. I feel good. The man thing. But it wasn't the right thing, which is the message he wants other men and women to get. If they don't start taking care of themselves and they continue to dismiss it as a way of life, come on. it'll come back and bite them. Good. Robin McGlone, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.